Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having two very interesting and challenging math Olympiad problems. Problem number one is square root of square root 16 minus square root 12. And problem number two, 8 power x equal to x power 12. x belongs to integers. So let me begin with problem number one. And I will solve both the problems in two different ways. So let me begin by writing method number one and problem number one. So I will write root 16 as we all know it is 4. Root 12 we can think about it is 3 times 4. And if we want to take this 4 out then root 4 is 2. So I can write 4 minus 2 square root 3. Now 4 can be split 3 plus 1 and then 2 root 3 as it is. Now 3 is written, we can write it as root 3 whole square, 3 is root 3 whole square, 1 we can write it is 1 whole square, then it is written 2 times root 3 times 1, the square root is already there. Now you can see it is a square plus b square plus 2ab, if I will presume this is a, this is bracket is b. Then this formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab and root is there. So we can write a square root of a minus b whole square. So we can cancel a square and a square root equal to a minus b. Now what is a root 3? What is b? 1. So final answer becomes root 3 minus 1 using method number 1. Let's solve using method number 2. I will consider this is equal to, first of all I will write 4 minus 2 root 3 and then I will consider this is a minus b. You can see root 16 is greater than 12, 16 is greater than 12, so root 16 will be greater than root 12. So in that order I will consider a positive, b positive first thing and second point is a minus b will be positive always. So I have presumed like this and where a and b both numbers are positive. So let me write method 2 here and we will take a squaring both sides. So let us consider a squaring. I will be writing here whole square. I will be writing here whole square. See left hand side will be 4 minus 2 root 3 and right hand side it is a minus b whole square. Let's expand. So this formula I will write a square plus b square minus 2ab which will be equal to 4 minus 2 square root 3. Now I will compare 4 with a square plus b square. And then I will compare minus 2ab with minus 2 root 3. So if I will write equation then a square plus b square equal to 4 and I can straight away write ab equal to root 3. Minus is there, 2 is there so we will write only uncommon terms. So ab equal to root 3. So this is one new system of equation from where we have to find out a minus b. This is our target. So I will use one identity straight away. It is a square minus b square whole square equal to a square plus b square whole square minus 4a square b square. Only need to put the value. a square plus b square value is 4. So I will write here 4 square minus 4 times a square b square. So root 3 square. So we can write this is 4 a square minus 4 times 3. So it is 16 minus 12. So it will be equal to 4. 4 can be written as 2 square. Left hand side is a square minus b square whole square. Right hand side is, let me write here, a square minus b square whole square equal to 2 whole square. 
So conclusion is a square minus b square is 2. Now we know two equations. First equation is a square plus b square is equal to 4. This equation. And second equation which we calculated a square minus b square equal to 2. Add both and subtract both we will get a square and b square. So once I will add both then it will become 2a square is equal to 6 or a square is equal to 3. So from here I can write a is equal to plus minus root 3. Minus won't be accepted as a and b both values are positive. So a will be equal to plus root 3. Now this is after addition of both equations. Once I will subtract these two, then I will be having 2b square equal to 2, b square equal to 1, b equal to plus 1 only, minus won't be accepted. So we have calculated a and b both. a is root 3, this value and b is only plus 1. So our answer is a minus b. So what I will write? Root 3 minus 1. Method number 2. Now let us consider the second challenging equation. It is exponential equation in LHS and algebraic equation in RHS. So let me use method number 1 first and it is using exponents and properties. Remember x is integer only. Then we are solving this equation. So what I will consider now, I will take the product of exponent. Let me write here product of exponents. So it is equal to 12x. Right hand side power is 12. Left hand side power is x. So product becomes 12 times x, 12x. Now I will raise both sides the same power but in division. So I will write x power 12. Now I will write both sides power 1 by 12x. 1 by 12x. 1 by 12x. Now we can cancel these two using exponent property. These two using exponent property. So it will become ultimately 8 power 1 over 12 equal to x power 1 over x. And which property I have used here? a power b whole power c equal to a power b times c. Once I will write a power b times c, 12, 12 will be over and x, x will be over in both the sides. Now I will write this equation x power 1 over x equal to 8 power 1 over 12. Now let me write this equation in base form. So I will convert this 8 as base 2. So I can write it as 2 power 3 whole power is 1 over 12. So I will use this property. Take the product in the powers. So I will be writing 2 power 3 times 1 over 12. So ultimately I am getting 2 power this 3 and 12 will be over 4. So 2 power 1 over 4 x power 1 over x. It is not matching. So we will do one manipulation. This manipulation is I will multiply this exponent numerator denominator by 4. See what it will be 2 4 over 4 times 4. It was earlier 1 over 4. Now I multiplied with 4 and 4. Now I will consider these terms, these powers separately. So we can write 2 power 4 whole power will become 1 over 16. Now 2 power 4 is 16. Whole power is 1 over 16. Left hand side x power 1 over x. Now it is matching. If you will compare base 16. If you will compare exponent 1 over x 1 over 16. So overall conclusion becomes x is equal to 16. As you can see, base we can compare and then we can compare the powers. 
Now method number two. Method number two using natural log or ln or log. So let me consider natural log both sides. I will consider x power 12. Now using property, I will take this power as a multiplier. So I can write x ln 8 equal to 12 ln x. Now I can see 8 can be written as 2q. So we can write ln 2 power 3 equal to 12 ln x. Now again this 3 will come out. So it will become 3x ln 2 equal to 12 ln x. Now I can cancel 3 and 12 or better is to divide both sides by 3. So once you will divide, we will be having RHS 4 means multiplier I will write. So x ln 2 equal to 4 ln x. Let me collect variable one side. So I will be writing ln x over x equal to, I will write ln 2 over 4. Again same thing, you can see ln 2 is written but it is not matching with the denominator number 4. So what I will do, I will again use manipulation. I will multiply numerator denominator by 4. Now rest is ln 2 over 4. Now I can take this 4 to the power. So I can write ln 2 power 4 over these two numbers will be 16. Now you can see 2 power 4 is 16. So ln 16 over 16. Left hand side we have got ln x over x. Right hand side we have got ln 16 over 16. Conclusion becomes x equal to 16 and these all things happening because of x is integer. Conclusion, if you will find out the graph or using other methods, there are three solutions. See this one is negative 1.24 but both are non-integers and see this is 16. Why these are three solutions? Let me explain. If I will plot one graph of x power 12, it would be like this, parabola passing through origin, even function and left hand side we have exponential function. So once you will draw, first point is there, intersection point. This point is negative 0.861. Then we will be having second intersection here. So this point is 1.21 in plus x direction. Now once you will raise it will be intersecting third and last time and this point is point number 16. So the remaining two solutions we can find out using the other methods like newton ranson method we can use or Lambert W function we can use. But right now for integer solutions x will be equal to 16. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.